connects the Persian Gulf to the Gulf of Oman and from there to the Arabian Sea and the huge Indian Ocean, with Iran to its north and Oman and the United Arab Emirates to its south, this waterway is the only sea passage from the Persian Gulf to the open ocean. Think about that for a second, the only way out. There's no other practical route for the massive amount of energy that flows through it. And the amount is just mind-boggling. Roughly 21% of all global petroleum liquids pass through the Strait of Hormuz every single day. It's like the main artery for the world's oil supply. If it gets clogged, the whole system suffers a heart attack. Some estimates put it even higher, suggesting around a fifth of the world's oil consumption moves through this choke point. That's something like 17 to 20 million barrels of oil and condensates daily. Major OPEC members like Saudi Arabia, Iran itself, the UAE, Kuwait, and Iraq depend on this strait to ship out most of their crude oil, mainly to the energy-hungry markets in Asia. And it's not just oil. It's also a critical route for about 20% of the world's liquefied natural gas, LNG, with Qatar, a huge exporter, sending nearly all its LNG through Hormuz. Iran's location gives it major leverage over this crucial waterway, like having the only key to the world's biggest fuel pump. For years, at various times of high tension, Iranian officials have talked about the possibility of closing or disrupting traffic through the strait. These aren't empty threats. They're serious reminders of Iran's ability to hit global energy flows.